He asks if she's there. And she goes and pushes her lover down just as he arrives. He asks what she's doing there, and she says she's cooling herself down. He asks if she wants some company, but she says the water is pretty cold and that she'll be out soon. She asks if he would like to watch a movie or something, and he doesn't look like he wants that, but she says she would like that. He'll start making some popcorn and picking something for them to watch then. She tells him to go, and he turns around and sees the clothing, but he doesn't say anything. He says it's gone, telling her to come closer, but she says that she has to go, that she'll leave the back door open for him so he can leave. No. She doesn't believe that this is happening. She wonders if she's pregnant. And she doesn't know if it'll be Rodrigo's or Henrique's. But she's sure that Henrique's going to be a good father. The results are up, and it's just as she thought, and she'll go and do a surprise for him. He finds it odd she's waiting for him there, but she says she has a surprise for him. He asks what is it, and she goes and hands him a small box. He finds the folded piece of paper and starts to unfold it and read it. He asks what's that, and she says they're pregnant. He doesn't seem too happy about it. That she was the one who said she didn't want children ruining her body. She tells him to forget that, that they'll be parents now. She goes and gives him some kisses. Telling him that she'll ask Mary to do a very special dinner for them so they can celebrate. She'll see him back at dinner time. He gets up and immediately starts to call someone. He asks if they can meet at the same place today. He can't believe he started without him, saying that he was dealing with the other associates and that he finds it odd for him not to wait for him to start drinking. He apologizes saying he has to tell him something. He asks him what happened, and why he looks so serious like that. He says he's going to be a father. And his friend starts to celebrate, saying that's a good thing, that they'll go to a steakhouse and celebrate this amazing news. He says that he should be happy about it, but he says that's not all. He tells him to go ahead and say it, that they're friends. He knows that they're friends since they were little, that he's the guy who he most trusts, so he asks him what's wrong. He says that he can't be the father of this child. He starts to laugh, asking if there's something wrong with the missus. But he says that Amanda once told him that she didn't want kids, so she doesn't know about it, but he did a vasectomy. He's at a loss for words, and he says that he did this for her, that he doesn't know what happened. He can't believe this. She's his girlfriend, telling him that he needs to investigate this woman, that she can't do this to him. He says he'll need help for this, and he says he'll help him out, so they go and seal this deal of finding out what happened. That's when he notices the watch on his arm. He goes after him. And then he's asking her if he has said anything to her, but she says that he only told her that it was going to be a surprise. 
He says this is all very weird, wondering if he knows about them already. He's climbing down the stairs ever so slightly and silently, hearing them from there, hearing that he would never suspect it. He doesn't know what's happening, that he's not following this, saying he'll leave now because he doesn't want any trouble with anyone. He asks where is he going? And it looks like he has seen a ghost or something. He says he was dealing with something at work but he'll go now. He stops him, saying they still have some things to talk about. He has planned everything for this moment. He tells him to sit down, and she tells him that their baby missed him. He just nods. And she asks him why he wanted them there. He doesn't know as well, and he starts to say that he has something to tell them. She can see that he's super serious, asking him what happened. He tells him to say it at once, asking if he's dying or something. He says not that he knows of, but maybe some people would like that. She's getting worried. And he asks him what's he talking about, telling him to just come out and say it already, that he's like a brother to him. So he'll help him with anything. He can't believe he can be so cold like that. And he pretends he doesn't know what's he talking about. He tells him to read the exam. And he starts to look at it. He silently passes on to her. She asks what that means, and he says that the exam declares that he can't have kids, so he can't be the father. If he can't be the father, then she cannot be pregnant, right? Except that she is. That he's the father of this child. Is. He doesn't know where is he taking that from, saying that this doesn't make any sense. He tells him that they grew up together, lived together, traveled together, and have a business together. That he always said he's his best friend and he goes and does something like that. He stands up, saying that he's his brother, that he's his best friend, that there must be some kind of error on that thing. He says not only does it prove that he can't have kids, but he also says that he remembered seeing his watch on his house the other day, that people have commented on this with him and he finally sees the truth. He says that he's delusional. That he doesn't have any proof of anything. She says she'll go so the baby doesn't feel stressed out, but he seats her back, that he's not done yet. She doesn't know why is he acting like that, and he says he's not stupid, that he already knows that she was cheating on him with Rodrigo. He tells him to calm down. But he says he doesn't want his friendship anymore, and that he'll undo any kind of business that he has with him. He's getting tired of pretending, so he goes and yells that he is the father of the child alright. He didn't want it to happen, but it just happened telling him not to judge him for that. He can't believe he can say that, and he also found out that he was the one who was diverting money from the company. He can see that he's not well right now, that they can talk this out some other time. He accepts that he says he hooked it up with Amanda, but he says he didn't do that to the company. He tells him to leave before things get really ugly for him, and he says he'll go, but he'll regret losing a big partner like him. He kicks her out from there as well. She goes and catches him, and he asks what she wants. She asks him if he'll help her with this child. 
but he says he won't, that he doesn't even like kids to begin with. She remembers that he said that he loved her, that she could count on him. He tells her to go ahead and find a lawyer or something. That he doesn't even want to see the face of the baby when it's born, and that he doesn't want his name on any documents of this baby. He says he would rather pay the alimony than raise the brat. She kneels down, regretting what she did with her life.